Hey my little VBBs, beautiful beauty bunnies and welcome to Tyra's new face tuning channel. Hashtag make your face great again. <laughs> I have to tell you something. I love, love, love this new lip cream. Stop! What are you doing? Who are you and how did you... Um, we are the makeup agents for an environmentally friendly daily life. M E P V Whatever. That's great, but how did you get in my apartment? Um, that's, that's a different story, but it's way more important to talk about the thing in your hand. Your lipstick! <laughs> Actually, it's a <laughs> lip cream. Oh, yes, you've got a point. But Tara, do you know what this lip cream contains? You mean red lip beautifulness and total 90s realness? <laughs> That's correct, but you don't know about the terrible thing inside. Something which ruins our oceans or might even make you sick someday. Do you? Do you? You do not. So, look at this. Even years ago, scientists knew about the big impact synthetics we're going to have in our century. They cannot imagine the dangers plastics were going to bring to our planet. Nowadays we have to face the consequences. When most people think of the dangers of plastic pollution, images of big plastic vortexes and polluted areas pop up in their minds. Most people do not know about the more recently discovered microbeads in the oceans which are considered to be even more harmful. But what are microbeads? Microbeads or microplastics are small plastic particles in the environment which are smaller than 5 mm. They are classified in two different types, primary and secondary microplastics. Primary microplastics are purposefully manufactured and often to be found in cosmetics and beauty products, functioning as abrasives, softeners or binding material. On the other hand, secondary microplastics occur when bigger plastic objects are degraded into smaller pieces through the pressure of waves consistent UV rays as well as sea salt. Now, how do they affect us? The general problem when it comes to microbeads is that, due to their small size, they are almost impossible to be filtered out of the ocean in sewers and defecators, and that's how they find their way into the ocean. Because of their size, plankton and other small organisms often can't distinguish them from their food and consume them. Plankton is an important food source for most of the marine animals such as fish, which make it possible for us to consume microplastics by eating seafood. Even though microbeads themselves are not thought to be dangerous, the heavy metal accumulated by them are supposedly cancerous. However, their effect on the human body is not fully researched yet. But how can you make a difference? It's quite easy. There are 11 different sorts of microbeads processed in cosmetics and hygiene products. You can simply avoid polluting the environment even more by paying attention to the ingredients on the label of your beauty products. See, it's not difficult at all. Now it's your turn to make a change.